Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Happy Didi. To be or not to be, Bitcoin touched 64 k 64k we went up like around 9k yesterday amazing bitcoin moves in this amazing bitcoin market a little bit early before the halving but in today's video i have four amazing charts i have a trading tip a travel tip some live advice of course talking about the news because the spot etfs are doing something they have never done before and yes also answering one of the questions of the followers because it was a very difficult question to answer especially after last night i was a little bit like drinking and having fun with some people even karaoke uh, all my VIPs and Instagram could follow that uh, if you want to follow those strange things that I do in the evenings <laughs> become a member on Instagram for five euros a month uh, yeah, and you get extra VIP service and things over there as well guys now let's quickly jump into the first charts to see what exactly is happening to Bitcoin BAM The first chart for today, guys, is this weekly chart. Every candle is a week. Look how beautifully that green pump candle stays there on the chart, guys. We are nearing that green line on the top. I've been sharing this chart already for months with you guys. I told you already months ago, these will be the targets, these green lines for Bitcoin when we start to pump. We broke that 41K level. We broke that 52K level and we are now even pumping towards the 65K level. So for all those people that are still doubting about what I have been sharing the last years in our videos, hopefully your doubt is now gone. Of course, this was an insane run in the last two days. That's almost like 10% run in the last day. And yes, of course, when Bitcoin goes up that steeply, there could be a pullback. But the thing is that the volume that's being bought up now is not being bought by weak hands or by retail investors that are FOMOing in. This volume is being bought up by spot ETF companies that have been in the business of trading for decades. And they understand the gold of the 21st century Bitcoin by now. They are not going to dump Bitcoin like buy this month, dump next month, buy that month, buy altcoins. This is not what spot ETF companies do. They buy Bitcoin as a long term investment, as a gold of the 21st century to make profits for all their clients. So please be aware of this. This is an insane move that we saw, but it's also insane liquidity moving into the market at the moment. Beautiful chart. I hope we will break the previous alt high very soon. If we will break it before the halving, that will be the first time ever in Bitcoin's history that we break the previous all time high before the halving. Maybe then my predictions of between 80 and 150k in the bull market top are a little bit bearish. But we still don't know for sure if that is going to happen. But if I can see on the charts and the volume, that such a move, like a super cycle is going to go happen, I of course will tell you as well. And why did we pump 10%? Just because of this. Just check this chart. We had 7.7 .7 billion trading volume on the spot ETF market yesterday. And that's the Bitcoin spot ETF market, not all the markets combined, just Bitcoin. 7.7 .7 billion. The previous high was somewhere around 4.5 billion. We are almost doubling that now. It's demolishing this candle that you can see to the left of that green high candle. 7.7 .7 billion. If it will continue like this, if the FOMA among those institutional investors, banks, governments, countries will continue like this, if that demand keeps growing because they have FOMO, fear of missing out of this beautiful moment in history that the digital gold is going to overtake the physical gold. They don't want to miss out on that move. They want to become richer. That's the core and main goal of a government, of a country, of the rich elite people of the world. And do believe me, they are going to use Bitcoin for this now as well, because they understand the tokenomics. They understand the scarcity of 21 million Bitcoins in the next 
116 years mining Bitcoin. So they are buying this. You should be buying this as well. If you're new to the channel, then please understand that you should have been buying this as well. I've been saying this to all my followers for the last four years already. Buy that market bottom. Buy at 3K that bottom. Buy at 16K that bottom. Keep buying that. So hopefully a lot of you listened. I know a few of my very close friends, even my brother, he sold his house two years ago. I told him to go all in. He went all in. He had the guts to follow my advice. He is now very happy drinking a sangria in Spain as he texted me yesterday that he could not believe what was happening to his portfolio at the moment. Congratulations, my brother Gino and my sister Zita, that you did have the belief in me. Uh, yes, you will be millionaires very soon. If we look at this chart, it's showing you that we are now 10% from the all-time high. It is only 10%. But the candle yesterday was already 10%. The candle the day before was 5%. And the candle the day before that was also 5%. So to have another 10% move could take two days, could take five days, could take one day. But the thing that you need to see is and understand that we are very close by the previous all-time high of 69K. So if we look at the movements of the last three days, hey, we could even reach the previous all-time high before the weekend. That would be insane, of course, never seen before. But if you look at these candles of the last couple of days, that could happen. Maybe the market will first cool down a little bit, go sideways, and maybe the next week will follow up to try and break the previous all-time high. But let's see what happens today again. It's a beautiful feeling if you were invested in Bitcoin before 30K, because now you more than doubled your capital already in the last six months. Congratulations to all those that listened and that bought Bitcoin below 30K. You have just doubled your capital in the last six months. Let that sink in. And it won't take long, guys, before we go below the thousand sets to buy one dollar. At the moment, you need 1,652 sets to buy one dollar. There will be a moment you're buying one dollar with less than thousand sets maybe even f in the future 500 sets or even 200 sets or maybe even one set set is the smallest denomination of the bitcoin that would be a dream come true that you only need one set to buy a dollar because that would mean that bitcoin would be 100 million dollar per bitcoin so let's not like overdo it hmm, maybe one set will buy you 10 cents in the future <laughs> even that would be a very beautiful top price of bitcoin guys Understand this chart. You need less and less and less Bitcoins to buy dollars. It's exactly the opposite. You need more and more and more dollars to buy a Bitcoin. That's the difference between a deflationary and an inflationary system. You're now, with your main capital in euros and dollars, your capital is devaluating. You have less purchasing power every year. Your capital, your main capital should be Bitcoin. So your purchasing power will be increasing every year. I hope you really enjoyed the charts, guys. Yes, short term, beautiful movement to Bitcoin. A lot of profits, of course, in all the trades. But long term, still zooming out, looking at that bigger picture. We are just nearing the previous all-time high of 69K. If we break that previous all-time high, there is still a huge upward potential for Bitcoin. We can still go all the way above 100K. That's another 40 to 50K profit per Bitcoin if you buy today, guys. And yes, I know that you're too late and you're thinking you're too late because you should have bought at the bottom when I told you to buy. I know that you're feeling this feeling now if you didn't buy it. Hopefully all the others that are following this channel did buy between 16 and 25K when I told you to buy. I told you the bottom was in. I told you accumulate as much as possible at those levels. If you didn't buy, please wait for a retrace. We have been going up like with 10K, 10% in a day. There will be a small pullback in my hundreds of pain. If not, then this bull market is going to be insane. Insane, insane. As high as this airplane over there that is now disturbing the sound of this video, guys. We have never seen Bitcoin moving towards the halving and breaking the all-time high before the halving. It always happened after the halving. 
the, the spot ETF volume that we are seeing is just too big to keep Bitcoin down. And I will talk about that a little bit later again, guys. Now let's quickly jump into the trading tip. The trading tip for the day is, I don't have a trading tip anymore. You all went already all in Bitcoin. If you have listened to all my videos, I just want to wish you an amazing bull market ride the next 18 months of beautiful price upward movements in Bitcoin, feeling euphoric. And yes, keep following this channel, subscribe to the channel, because I will be there to tell you when I am going to cash out my portfolio, I will share it on YouTube, of course, but you need to subscribe. And we need to reach 75K subscribers before Bitcoin. And Bitcoin is now winning the race because we are not even close to 70K and Bitcoin is going up with 10K a day. So you need to put in more subscribers. Please tell one person in your surroundings, family, friends, on your work, that they need to watch this channel. That's the trading tip for the day. Convince one person in your life to start following the Bitcoin family channel. And the next trading tip is if we reach a previous all time high of 69k, guys, I'm gonna jump in that pool. I'm gonna jump and make a salto in that pool, guys, with clothes, Bitcoin, everything on it. If we reach an all time high, you will see me jumping in that pool, guys. That was the trading tip. Let's quickly jump into the travel tip. I don't know about you guys, but we as a family, we still watch Netflix and Amazon Prime, all these series on there. And sometimes in foreign countries, some series are being blocked. So it's always handy to have a VPN. We are working with VPN Express. Why with that one? Because we can pay that one with Bitcoin. You can check it on the website. It was one of the first VPN services that accepted Bitcoin. So we are using that one. There is a link down below, by the way. Uh, I think you get one month for free if you use our links. But these VPN services are really handy when it comes to watching all these series, but also for using exchanges and other privacy stuff that you want to do from a pretending country that you are in. Sometimes you need to log in into the Dutch government, for example, or whatever, uh, and then you need to use a VPN to be able to log in in those countries because they need to believe that you're really in the Netherlands. So there's a really cool tool, a VPN, also, for example, for all the people in the United States that want to trade, for example, on Bybit and not allowed to, you can always use a VPN to trade on certain exchanges that are not allowed to be used in your country. So a VPN is a solution for many things while you're traveling. So if you want to have one, Click the link down below, VPN Express. You can even pay that one with Bitcoin, guys. Uh, that was the travel tip for the day. Use a VPN when you're being blocked. Bam. There is a question that is being asked a lot of time lately. And the question is, Didi, do you think that because of the spot ETS, now the bull market will completely change? And more important, do you still think in the bear market, we can still dump 70% because of this? So I honestly don't know. I don't have a glass ball. But if we think logically, then yes, I need to agree that normally during a bull market, the traditional bull markets, most of the volume was being bought by retail investors like you and me, not by institutional investors or banks or governments. Retail investors, mostly during a bull market, trade their Bitcoin profits sometimes for owls and their altcoin profits sometimes for Bitcoin. So that moves the market around. So Bitcoin comes up, then the altcoin goes up, then Bitcoin goes up and the altcoins goes up. And that's because, of course, people take profits, buy altcoins, pump the altcoins with those profits, buy more Bitcoin, etc. I do believe that the more Bitcoins now will be bought by these spot ETF companies and they are buying massive volumes of Bitcoins, that there will be less Bitcoins exchanged into these alts. Because I don't think that all the people that buy Bitcoin through a spot ETF, they will be exchanging their Bitcoins for altcoins. They will stay in Bitcoin long term. They will treat Bitcoin as the gold of the 21st century. So that part of the industry will not change to altcoins. Maybe, maybe if a spot ETF for Ethereum will be approved, they will also diversify from Bitcoin spot ETF into the Ethereum spot ETF. But in my honest opinion, they will add more. So like more to Bitcoin and even more to Ethereum if there will ever be a spot ETF. So that part could indeed change this cycle. Not the Bitcoin cycle, of course, that one is going to pump even harder because of all the volume and liquidity coming into the market, but could change the altcoin cycle because there will be less Bitcoin profits exchanged into altcoins. So I need to agree with that. Also, the bear market crash. Normally, we have a bear market crash of 70%. That crash of 70% is there because the retail 
all the people that start to buy after we uh, surpass the previous all-time high and they start buying the top, the top, the top, and then the price starts to fall down. And then more people start to sell, but it's mostly the retail people that take losses over there. These long-term investment strategy companies, Spot ETS, for example, they are not going to take the losses that easy. They will stay in Bitcoin as a long-term investment. And of course, if they can make profit, they also will take profits, but I think they will take profits in a more strategic way. So taking profit so that they even are able, again, to buy back those dips, and it won't be 70%. I think the next dip could be between 30 and 50%, somewhere over there. There will always be a bear market dip because there's always this moment that there's too much upward movements of Bitcoin, too much euphoria, too much Lamborghini guys, too much of that. And there will always be a market crash. But maybe this time it's only between 30 and 50 percent. Just imagine going to 100K or let's say 110K and then only crashing 50 percent to 55K. That could mean that the new bottom would be even above 50K. I always thought the bottom would be about 30K. But maybe we could even have a new bottom of a 50K because we have more strong hands because of these spot ETFs holding Bitcoin. No weak hands, no lady boys that's selling Bitcoins everywhere they go. Hi, you know, that types of people. We have now official serious investors in this market. So yes, my answer to your question is it could change indeed the bull market run because Bitcoin will go higher. It could also change the Bitcoin run because a lot of people will not be changing their Bitcoin spot ETF into altcoins. And yes, the crash could be less because we have seen diminishing crashes and also diminishing returns. A very good question. I hope you enjoyed my answer. If you did enjoy the answer, give this video already a thumbs up and uh, share it with all your friends and family and let me know down below what you think of the answer on this question. And yes, again, thumbs up, subscribe. It's very windy, guys, today. That's why I'm not on the beach. Uh, it's too windy. I think the sound would be not great. Uh, that's also a reason, not only that, of course. Yesterday, I was doing karaoke <laughs> in the evening. I had two drinks, only two drinks, because I'm losing weight. I need to be fit, guys. Um, the news for the day, massive volume in the spot Bitcoin ETF market. 7.7 .7 billion US dollar was traded yesterday. The previous top was 4.6 billion. We almost doubled the previous top of 4.6 billion volume in trading. 7.7 .7 billion volume in the Bitcoin spot ETF yesterday. And that is exactly why the price is pumping like this. Because all these clients that buy a spot ETF at, for example, BlackRock, at that moment when that happens, when they sign that contract, then BlackRock really needs to buy these Bitcoins off the market. And the market is drying up. The only place where BlackRock can still buy Bitcoins probably is at Coinbase. And also Coinbase is drying up. And the miners slowly are running out of their reserve stack of Bitcoins as well. And they're only mining 900 Bitcoins a day. In 52 days, they will only be mining 450 Bitcoins each day. The demand keeps growing. Hundreds of millions of dollars worth of Bitcoin are being bought every day, which means the demand is between 5,000 and 10,000 Bitcoins each day. Only 900 Bitcoins are being mined. The demand is almost 10,000 Bitcoins. The supply is only 900 Bitcoins. That means we only have 10% available of the supply because all the reserves of the exchanges and of the miners are drastically falling down as well. There is no reserves anymore. So the only Bitcoins that will be left in the end to buy are the newly minted Bitcoins every day. And it is still 952 days long, but after that only 450 Bitcoins. And that means there is not enough supply to fulfill the demand of 5,000 to 10,000 Bitcoins, even if we drop a little bit to 3,000 Bitcoins demand every day. We just don't have that amount of Bitcoins. So the only thing that can happen is the price will go up because people will start to ask more and more for their Bitcoins. And in the end, we will see a price of Bitcoin above 100K because of this. Supply and demand, $7.7 .7 billion worth of Bitcoin traded on the spot ETS. That's insane volume. It won't take long before the Bitcoin spot ETF 
is overtaking the gold spot ETF. And Bitcoin is doing this in like 12 months time. Gold built that spot ETF volume like in decades. Bitcoin is going to break gold. Not only the spot ETF, but also the physical gold market cap of 9 to 11 trillion, somewhere over there. Bitcoin is at 1 trillion. Bitcoin can easily go to 10 trillion market cap in the next 10 years. And by that break the gold market cap. Bitcoin is the gold of the 21st century. Please understand this. Hedge all of your reserve capitals, all of your savings into Bitcoin and run these next 10 years of bull market. There will be a bear market dip. Keep accumulating. Keep putting part of your salary, of your income, of your profits into Bitcoin. Bitcoin is going to be the tool for you to create generational wealth. Simple as that. Don't miss this Bitcoin rocket to the moon. That was the news for today. And then we come into the last part of the video. The last part of the video a quote is, of course, to be or not to be. It is all about that. You need to start believing. Believing, for example, in Bitcoin, but mainly believing in yourself. Because what I discovered in the last eight years of traveling, not just financially, more discovering me as a person in the last eight years, there is one thing that really changed a lot for me. And that one thing is, stop overthinking. We are almost always living in our head. We are overthinking every decision we make, every situation we run into. Every day when we wake up, we start thinking. And most of us always are overthinking, creating a way bigger problem or a way bigger hurdle or a way bigger issue inside our head because we're overthinking the situation. To stop overthinking was one of the most difficult things for me to overcome in the last eight years because I am a thinker. I am always in my head. I'm always thinking about new ideas. I'm always thinking about new projects. I'm always thinking about so many things. And sometimes I just overthink the things that I want to create and then it will never happen. So in the last eight years, I learned to let go. I am thinking about something, I want to achieve something and I will let it go. I'm not going to overthink it. I will let it go. I will sleep one night, the next day again, a little bit thinking about it. And then slowly I will achieve all the things that I want to achieve. But if I get stuck in this overthinking state, I won't achieve anything because I'm making all the problems too big that my, that my brains can't comprehend it anymore and can't solve the mathematical calculations anymore inside that head. Overthinking will not lead to happiness. You need to stop overthinking and you will feel more happy because most of the problems are not even a problem. In the Netherlands, we have a saying, if you're overthinking or making a problem bigger than it is, and that's to make an elephant out of a mosquito. A lot of people make an elephant out of a mosquito. It's just a mosquito bite, but they pretend or they feel like they were overrun by an elephant. So don't overthink. Stop that. It's the most powerful thing that doesn't cost any money that you can do start today. You don't need to invest. You don't need a private coach. You don't need a psychiatrist. You don't need anyone to tell you that I'm right because if you are very honest and looking in the mirror and you confront yourself with every time that you're overthinking a situation, at the end, everything played out as it needed to play out. In the last eight years, whatever I did, when I overthought a lot of things, life went on and it just unfolded like it needed to unfold. So that's why I realized, hey, let's stop all that overthinking. That's useless. Why would I still be overthinking all these steps I want to take, all these things I want to do, all these goals I want to achieve? I must stop overthinking that because it will come. It's just manifesting, it's visualizing, this is the goal or this is the problem I need to solve or this is the thing that I'm running into and I'm going to solve it in this way. And that's it. And then stop thinking. Just do it. Start to take action. Stop overthinking and start to take action. By taking action, coming into movement, you will force yourself to stop overthinking. So maybe that's the most easy way to stop overthinking by when you're overthinking, start to take action. If you start to take action, you force yourself to stop overthinking. 
you force yourself to start to move and take action. I hope that quote is helpful for today. And if it was helpful, then please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about the tips? What do you think about everything else I talked about? Uh, yes, no booty today, but a beautiful garden. Thanks for watching. Bitcoin 64K was kissed already by a wick. Let's see when we break 64K and go to that green line that I've been showing you already for weeks on the chart. Be honest, be honest. Yes, DD, you've been showing us that right green line for weeks or months already. The green line around 65, 66K should be the target. That is where the previous top of the weekly candle closed. If we can close this green candle higher than that, be prepared for a huge run to in the 70 Ks and then see a pullback after that, guys. But let's see what will happen. We have three more days to close that weekly candle. Very important one. Thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing day and see you tomorrow again. Bam.